Hanukkah 5784. It all begins, believe it or not, on Thursday night. The first candle is Thursday night. Can you imagine? Hanukkah is almost here. And during this week and month of miracles, we are uh, pleading with the one above for a miracle that our hostages be released ASAP, especially as the enemy has supposedly, according to the United States authorities, has declared there will be no more hostage release right now. We know who could change that in an instant. And let's continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel. JM in the AM on a Tuesday morning broadcast. We actually have video going in our studio here in New York City this morning because it must have been, I don't know how many days ago, I guess I could check my texts or emails. I don't know how, how many days or weeks ago it was, but I noticed that um, Country Yussi and Heshi Wolfish were uh, about to release and make available to the public their entire catalog. That's what I saw. I saw this somewhere. The entire catalog was being offered uh, to, the, uh, to the global public of all the incredible Country Ussy selections and anybody who was part of the Country Ussy network over all these years. You know, TV, Tuki, and all those guys. So, when I saw this, I, I contacted Country Ussy and said, uh, we've got to do some type of interview. This is, this is historic. This is noteworthy. This is too important to just pass by. And uh, I suggested that before Hanukkah, since the entire catalog would be a great Hanukkah gift, I suggested that before Hanukkah we get together in studio here at JM and the AM. And here we are. We're still awaiting the arrival of Heshi Wallfish, but we do have the legendary Country Yussi here in our New York City studio. Good morning, Country Yussi! Good morning, Nachum. How are you? Well, how am I? I'm sitting in front You're of a legend! Great. You're looking great. Thank you. How could I be? I'm sitting in front of a legend. My dream has come true. You've, yes. accepted, you've accepted my invitation yes. to speak about this noteworthy occasion yes. in the history of Jewish music. It's our honor to be here. Thank you for inviting us. And uh, yes, uh, the entire catalog uh, is now on sale. The entire Kiwi and Tuki catalog and the Country Yussi catalog are two separate USBs. Because, you know, I noticed in the news, Nachum, that Bob Dylan sold his catalog for, I think, $350 million. Paul Simon sold his entire catalog. How much? So I was uh, about $420 million. Wow. So I was hoping somebody would make an offer. <laughs> Do we have any takers out there? Uh, Anybody in the hundreds? Peter Maven is looking like he's, <laughs> he's considering that. <laughs> so, but nobody made an offer, so we just uh, we didn't actually uh, release it. It escaped, basically. <laughs> like everybody else around here. <laughs> so... How many selections mm. are there in the entire Country Yussi catalog network? Uh, well, there are 72 songs on the Country Yussi USB. Right. And uh, there must be about uh, 60 or 70 on the Kiwi and Tuki. Uh, did you include on either? Did you include include on either of them the uh, These I Remember selections? The these stuff? I Remember, you, you did classic include. calls with name the five boroughs of New York. Also in there, is on there. Bottle Park, Flatbush, yeah. Crown Heights. For those who don't know, you you yes. came across some some pretty uh, well read people over the years. Oh yes. You? And we immortalized them on, uh, <laughs> yeah. on CD. And now on USB. I didn't yes. like that. I'm I'm perusing. I, I, the truth is, I wasn't perusing. Mm. I was, um, I was sitting on Saturday night, Monday Shabbos, I'm sitting on my couch, and someone texts me, yeah. and they say, did you see this week's Jewish Views? Oh, I was wondering if uh, I should bring that. And I, and I said to myself, and it, it was funny, because there were a couple of articles that I, that I, that I did, in fact, read in the Jewish Views it's over Shabbos. It's a great Shabbos. newspaper. It is a great newspaper, and uh, Ari Hirsch was here, and we did our big studio opening, and he's amazing, and, and um, we're... we're I'm sitting there, and, and here's the funniest thing. Here's that, and you'll appreciate it. You have a great sense of humor. Sure. Literally moments after Havdalah, yeah. I toss out all the newspapers. Like, that's it. <laughs> the, week, the week full of newspapers is gone. And for some reason, I say to myself, you know what, I'm not tossing them out so quickly. And someone, in fact, texts me like a half hour later. You see page 22 of, uh, of the Jewish Views. And I look, and it's a, an article written by Country Yussi. Mm. They call you Country Yussi Taiv, by the way. Oh. You're the new and improved Country Yussi. Not to be to confused that. with any other Country <laughs> Yussi out there. <laughs> exactly. And, and you write about an encounter that you had in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Mm. 
and how unusual you felt it was that someone would recognize you because you're, you're painting a picture as if you're Stam, a normal, regular looking guy, right? That's basically what you're saying. <laughs> you know, radio personality. Yeah, who would know? Like. On the air, classic calls, <laughs> who would know what you look like, right? Exactly. And then you write now, Nahum Siegel's another story altogether. Oh. He's handsome, distinguished looking, and six foot seven. I can't thank country enough for adding a couple of inches to my height. I thought I was tall enough at six foot five, frankly. <laughs> Uh, and no matter where you put him, he sticks out. Well, I will tell you, I've never walked into a room and somebody said, oh, I didn't notice. Him. Right. Like that. <laughs> He's like a skyscraper. But I will tell you something, country, and look at this. I, I alluded to this earlier uh, on the air. Uh, the way you present yourself uh, with your unique dress. I mean, you are, in a, you are in a Western vest that is to be envied. By anybody who considers exactly. themselves a fashion plate. And this is not cheap either. I, I would imagine at, at this point in your career, you're really spending on this <laughs> stuff, right? We I mean, to, you're going to, all out. <laughs> they had to kill two bulls to get this <laughs> It's a black leather spectacular vest. Well, at least we didn't kill a par on Duma, you know. <laughs> all the, proof, <laughs> the proof's in the pudding. It is a black vest after all. And then, in the old days, you had a certain look. Uh, on top of your kepi, if you will. You had a certain, uh, 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 you know, cowboy hat um, uh, ensemble yes. that you would choose from. Yes. I don't remember this one, the one you have today. Well, I don't remember this one in your repertoire at any point. Is this, in fact, a new cowboy hat? This is a new cowboy hat. The old one wore out. It's, been, it's 40 years old, so uh -oh. we decided to get a new one. <laughs> Specifically for this occasion. Are you happy with this one? It's a very large brim. Those will see the video later. They'll see a very large brim. Not your, I don't know if it's if it's considered a traditional cowboy hat. Would it be? Would it be yeah, a, this is a ten gallon hat. It is, and uh, it fits right into my Borough Park surroundings. <laughs> sure, nobody looks twice at me. You know. Well, the me. truth is now, forget about being Malcolm Siegel. You walk down the street, and that no one will doubt who you are. They'll know exactly <laughs> who you are. Exactly. And is this really unique to us, or on a typical Tuesday, if you're on? 13th Avenue, if you're riding with your horse down 13th Avenue, would you be wearing a hat like that? I, when I'm on the horse, yeah. I wear the hat, you do. I wear the boots, I wear right. the whole shebang. But, right. uh, but if you're just unfortunately, walking... I'm just walking nowhere. <laughs> unfortunately, my horse, Simis, it's called Simis the horse, he was nipped there. What happened? He passed away. He was hit by a garbage truck as I was driving down 13th Avenue. Holy cow. And uh, we had to... Uh, that must have been quite an episode. Very, very who, who was helpful? Was it Scheinbrim, Haverim? Heshi, Heshi. Who, oh, is Heshi who came to the rescue? Ah, <laughs> he knew what to do. A horse gets hit, Heshi's on the spot. Heshi has experience with dead horses. <laughs> very and, good uh, country, very good. He left it off the street and uh, we sold it to Goyim. Yeah. <laughs> They made good use of it, no doubt. They made a fortune. <laughs> we were wondering how you were able to, to release the USB. And that's how we got the vest. <laughs> <laughs> what a story, I'll tell you. Just, just, I'm glad I brought up the vest. But Only you could have got this story. My gosh, what a tale, to right. say the least. He's, uh, he's in our studio. He's country us. He's soon to be joined by Heshi Wolfish. Were you... Were you joined together from the very beginning? Because now we're waiting for Heshi. But at the very beginning, when this whole Country FC concept started, were you already a, a duo, a pair, a team? It was a, uh, he's an old friend of mine. I know him before, uh, you know, both of us were married. We were right. single. Uh, we used to share comic books and... Uh, Wow. He was the before you had the ranch, before anything, before, anything. before the cattle, no, before the camp, all, all that stuff, before, the horse, before, before you were a side buster, all that stuff. Yeah, we did the Yerachadish, you know. Right, of course. And we had the Yerachadish out there. And Ali Yidin. Ali Yidin, Bilbavi, Shmelki's Niggin. And Heshu was You should have never have broken up. Well, Rav Shlomo said, you know, Shmelki, sit and learn. Seriously? Yeah. And when you say Rav Schleimer, you mean Rav Schleimer Friday. Because it's not Rav Schleimer in the studio, it's Rav Schleimer Kalman. So, no, no, so, so, be, so be careful there. This country. is Rav Schleimer Friday. This is Rav Schleimer Friday from Shor Yoshu. He said that to Shlomo. I was one of the original ten guys that opened up Shor Yoshu, which is now... You're not joking, Chinese. by the way. You're serious. Yeah, you never do my, my past. Yeah, I was in Chaim Berlin. Rav Schleimer was a mashkiach. One day he came over to me and said, Yossi, I'm opening up my own yeshiva. Farak what? Yeah, he was in, was in the Far Rockway those years. The family was in Far Rockway for a couple of years. Really? Yeah. After yeah, they moved out of Stone Avenue, there was a uh, period where they... One second. Late 60s, they merged with Crown Heights Yeshiva, right? 
Crown Heights closes. Yeah, that was. You know, oh, it wasn't really a merger. No. It was more like they just took the students from there. No, I don't think about the. No. Parker. No. This was we were on Stone Avenue. For Which is years. where? Stone Avenue in East New York. Wow. Yeah, and uh, the neighborhood started turning, got very bad. So, be careful because now we're joined by someone who can authenticate oh, everything Hesh you're saying. Yeah. So be careful. Good yeah. morning, Hashi Walfish. Good morning. So one second, so you're East New York. So it was East New York. Right. Then they moved to Far Rockaway for a couple of years until they decided. Oh, and then they go to Flatbush? Yeah, so those oh. two years in Far Rockaway. I don't know my history the way you do. I'm to show you how history. Right. So Shlomo you know, asked me to uh, join the yeshiva. There were like 10 or 12 guys. Right. That's how the Orchandas started? Because that's where you met Shmuel? Yeah, Shmuel gave my roommate. Seriously? Yes. When did you know that he had, he had this ability to write he songs? He always had a guitar and he always he wrote songs. Did you write songs back then? Uh, he had a couple of songs like the Ali Yidin and uh, All the World. Ali Yidin is your song? Yeah, sure. I grew up on that song. Welcome, good morning. Good I, morning oh, though. sorry about that, Hashi. Go ahead. Good morning. <laughs> you didn't know that? He wrote I, of course I knew it, but I forgot it. You know how old I am, Hashi? Come on, I forget things that I did last night. Come on. Speaking of old age, no. Uh oh. <laughs> Finish the story. Who else is okay. in that Hevra? You, Schmelke, who else? Well, Yossi Lieber. Is also there. Yossi Very Lieber talented and guy. Deutsch. So we had those three wow. guys. We sang we, on the record and Schmelke sang too. Then we got a call to do a concert in the Pioneer Hotel. So we asked for Schleimer. I mean, uh, I'm not going to go perform without asking to Rosh Hashiva. Right. So uh, he said, Yossi, uh, you can perform, but the Schmelke, I think, should uh, not perform. Stay in, in other words, it's already hostage for him. Country Yossi, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you go to the Catskills, do whatever you want. He said, you're going to have your Russian Shiva material you in the best way of And he listened. He wow. never performed with us. Till, and I hear him as I, he doesn't perform. And, and we keep referring to him as Schmelke, it's already Schmuel Brazil. Yeah, Schmuel Brazil. And he was offering a lot of money to appear at the Haas concerts, and he wouldn't do it. Never did. Never did. Well, I, I do have to take exception with you. Yeah. There was a time when Schmelke sang with you. Ooh, let's hear. Where was that? It was at the anniversary. Remember that anniversary dinner, the Shri Yashiv anniversary dinner in a restaurant? Oh, yeah, privately, or Shri Yashiv dinner, yeah. Oh, so he was wasn't again singing, he just wouldn't go on stage and do a whole production, yeah, right? So, uh, and then Shri Yashiv, uh, you know, started taking in more and more Bachram. We moved out of the... Uh, a good building on Walls and Court, remember that? Edge? Of course, from the White Shoe. In Far Rockaway. Yeah, then eventually we got, I was out of there already at that point, but now it's a beautiful, gigantic yeshiva with hundreds of bachram and thousands of. So you're not wearing headphones, so you can't hear what's on in the background right now. Oh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah? Give it a second, country. Uh, I literally grew up on this. This, I didn't. I wasn't a big Jewish music guy. Really? But this song. Oh. I hear it. Yeah. Both words and music are yours. Yes. You're a legend. I wasn't kidding earlier when I said I'm joined by a legend. I'm a legend in my own mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. It beat me to it. <laughs> Heshi's the real legend. Oh, he's the real thing. You, it's imagination. Yeah. Heshi, it's for real. Anyway, so that's, this is your... We're talking about how many years... What a chevra of guys you had there. Yeah, we what had a great chevra. We had a great team. What did that chevra, the very prominent Russia yeshiva that they became, what did they say to you? Once things like the Stiebel Hoppers and Kivi and Tuki and all this stuff came out, did they take great pride in that country, Yossi? Well, Nachum Siegel, uh, <laughs> Nachum Deutsch and uh, Yossi Lieber are uh, very proud of our past the relationship with the yeshiva and uh, with Jewish music. Of course, Shmelke Brazil, Reb Shmelke is now a Rosh Yeshiva in yeah. Eretz Yisrael, and uh, he looks back at it probably with the fondness, but uh, he's right. looking uh, for more. He's not the biggest Kivi and Tuki fan. Uh, I don't think at this point, no. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. You, were but you mentioned how many years ago. Uh, how started, many years ago? Early 60s. Me and Heshi. Heshi is celebrating his birthday now coming up. Heshi, happy birthday to you. Thank you. And Heshi said that. How do you celebrate? You go to Achtov? What do you do? You go to the Achtov restaurant? Achtov is the best. Is, uh, is, that, is, the best. is that where you remember go? Do you remember that? I don't remember it, but I remember you once took me to lunch there. I remember that. Really? Yeah, you took me to Achtov. In fact, the other day, someone was saying to me, there was this restaurant on 13th Avenue. Is that, 
And I'm saying, I think it was Tov Tom or something, this morning, literally this morning, yeah. at 4 a.m. it hit me. No, it was Achto, but I, I'm so happy I thought of this before Country Yossi got here. Yes, I wrote a jingle for Achto, and I still remember it. Woodburn, Woodmere, Woodridge, Bay Ridge, Worsbar, East Meadow, El Bill, Monticello, Great Neck, Little Neck, Throx, Neck and Teen Neck, Flatbush, Power Park, Munchalag, it's Regal Park, Uptown, Downtown, Bloom Jordan Square, Town, Lindbrook, Ruler Brick, and every great way you care to look. Ach, Tove is the best. Hey, Ach, is the best. Forget, Forget about, about the rest, though. Ach, Tove is the best. How many years did Ach, Tove go? Ach, Tove is the best. How many years did Ach, Tove exist? Oh, many years. Till we, wrote, till we wrote that book. <laughs> After that, it was over. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, fellas. <laughs> and we had another version. Rice pudding, noodle pudding, apple, yeah. potato pudding, egg salad, tuna salad, strong, and potato salad, dumplings, white fish, round the ring, a filter fish, french fries, fish fries, yolk, melon, mud. <laughs> there are people who would like this now. Yeah. There, there are some restaurants that would... That would that, we have to resurrect that. No joke. You didn't do the Nasharia jingle, did you? Yeah. You did Nasharia also? Yeah, yes. Sir. Best lemon chicken in, in the world? world? We sold 150 jingles, Ashi and I. We... Wait, you're being serious? Yeah, yeah we, we had, had a business work. back in... 150 jingles? jingles yeah. Nasharia. Glock pack. Uh, what else did we have, Ash? Oh, my God. Lumber, Windbook, Lumber, uh, under, Underworld Plaza. Underworld Plaza. Plaza. That was yours? I remember yeah. that. Oh, Underworld yeah. Plaza. Who sang that? That was a Ben, uh, ben Miller. Ben C. Miller. Yes, we had a lot of... Uh, more, more. Give me more. What else? What other products uh, that I would have heard of? Well, 16th Avenue Pharmacy. At 16th Avenue Pharmacy, <laughs> the prices are low. Incredibly so. And then we had... How Plaza. hard is it to do Kosher this? Kosher Plaza is the place to go. Wait, Kosher Plaza? What was Kosher Plaza? Know, what was, was that? That was one of the Some early supermarkets on uh, sure. Coney Island Avenue. Where was it? Coney? Pomegranate. Coney and what? Where's Kosher Plaza? H Coney and where? H&I, right? Richie. Richie Sher. Richie Sher. Wow. Across the street from Weiss's? Kosher Plaza. From Weiss's restaurant? No. Same block as Weiss's? A little further down there. Yeah, I was between uh, H and I around uh, there. Now that's Ramallah. I don't know if you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, Maybe that's why they closed up. Right. <laughs> I have a feeling that is why they closed up. One second. How does this work? Do you have to seclude yourselves in a room for hours to get jingles like this? Or does it come to you as you're riding the subway? How does this as work? As soon as we hear who the, what the product is. You're Seriously? As soon as the guy's willing to pay you. You never, <laughs> you never struggle with it? You never sit there with writer's block? No. Seriously? You know what kind of bracha that is? <laughs> Jingles are pretty easy to write. Well, I find that. it depends who you are, but yes. I mean, we, yes, he's very creative. Very if you're doing Kivi and Tuki, is that also immediate? or Some songs are immediate, some songs you have to work on. But, you know, usually... Uh, Inspiration strikes, and uh, you know you get the hook right away. Then you work around the hook. Oh, did I get an angry email about you guys? What? You put out a country Ussie's greatest hits. Yeah, well, I believe both. Good, good morning, Kali Yisrael. How do you do a good country Ussie greatest hits? That was after. That was, that was oh, what's that after? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's nuts about the fact that there's no good morning, Kali Yisrael <laughs> greatest hits. The greatest came out first. Right. <laughs> so wait, greatest hits volume number two. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> well, we put out, the, actually, you know that we put out recently. The whole, the whole, the whole catalog. The whole yeah, catalog. And, and Good Morning Claudia yeah. Stroll's on there. It is on there. Yeah. Why is that such a, do you, do you know that that's a, no, no, is it you that? don't even know it. You don't know that there are people out there who absolutely love that song. Well, first of all, it's a great song. It is a great it's song. It's a great song musically. Right. It's a great song. And, and the words just were, that, those were inspirational words. There were a lot of songs that we wrote then that, Seem very apropos. Yeah, that, by, the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, I was almost criticized for leaving my two-month format of doing all Israel all the time here. Even last week, Dr. Gorak was on the book about Marty Glickman, a lot about anti-Semitism. It really fit into the whole theme. And people said, country, I'll see before. I said, I promise you that there's stuff in the catalog that is so appropriate for these times. What do you have in mind? What would you play? No, I didn't play anything. I'm oh. saying there's stuff that you yes. have that's so, so appropriate for did now. Did you see that the video? Sometimes you got to fight when you're a Jew and they're right. showing Israel bombing. <laughs> that's, Gaza. And that's the song you wrote, what, 35 years ago? Yeah. And Even Nebuchadnezzar Nebuch that, that's, 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 that's the song. The song. That same song, yeah. same chorus. And uh, you should play that. I know. And uh, if, that, if it's not the greatest hits, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, Little One, I think, is very appropriate, actually. This yeah, time. Yes. Little One, sure. And uh, the other one was... Uh, oh, look at All My Yerushalayim. All My Yerushalayim. There were all kinds of songs. Oh, All My Yerushalayim. We used to play that so much, All My Yerushalayim. Yeah. That was an anthem. That was yeah, an anthem. we played that on jm a lot. Do wow. you remember this one? <laughs> the Canada Club. 
Grab your headphones, uh, country. Listen to how amazing this song is. Come on. <laughs> the folks just call him never. Why not? <laughs> is this in the full catalog available? Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> when his daddy died in Europe, I looked at the relation. Those who was my brother's son. Recall the final words my brother said to my shoe. So my life is over. Here it is. Listen carefully. Sometimes you gotta fight. Amazing. Nebuch of the Spiegel, obviously a, uh, what do we call it, an adaptation yes, apparently, of, of a apparently, very, apparently. very popular Coward song. Coward of the County. Coward of the County. So you were saying, yeah, I interrupted stole, you. He, he, stole, he stole my song. Though. Yeah, that's yeah that Kenny Rogers guy. What nerve. <laughs> a lot of people in Europe. They, they, they stole the Gambit song, something like Gambit, Johnny Cash, the Gambit. Well, what did they think of, uh, oh, what song was it? Didn't you, did you do uh, a boy named Zlatan? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. How many people want? Johnny want? Cash stole <laughs> Right. <that> song, <laughs> What's with these guys? I'm suing all of them. What's with these country <laughs> FC guys? I mean, excuse me, country music guys, Johnny Cash and Kenny Rogers. Well, these guys. They have no ethics or what? No ethics. <laughs> anyway, talk Go about ahead. how long ago we started this thing. Yes. It was back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. and Baruch Hashem, like I said, we're celebrating birthdays now. Right. Oh, I know a good birthday present for Heshi. What? One of those 10 gallon hats. <laughs> I, I walked yeah, out of the house. I was so late this morning, I walked out and I left it home. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, no, we're at that age when we go into a restaurant and order three minute eggs to make us pay in advance. <laughs> when Ashley bends over to pick up his newspaper, he's not sure it's going to be a round trip. <laughs> I, the funny part is I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> but Hesh, on the bright side, he has no, no peer pressure anymore. Exactly. <laughs> is right. The first sign of old age is when you hear snap, crackle, and pop, and it's not coming from your breakfast. Or, Maven, you know what I'm talking about. Maven, right? quick, a rib shot, Maven, a rib shot. <laughs> you know you're getting old when everything you want for Hanukkah you can get in a drugstore. Oh know? my gosh. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Let's see. Mesh. Hesh, you know you're getting old when you need glasses to put your teeth in. <laughs> uh, you know, you're depressing me now. <laughs> this sounds like my yeah, morning. I was just going to say, you're doing Hesh's morning routine here. Come on. <laughs> All right, so enough of these old age things. <laughs> What are you going to be doing on Thursday night? Do you do you get Hanukkah gifts at this point in your life? Do you give Hanukkah sure, gifts at this point? What happens? We have, what a, happens? we have a big Hanukkah party, Matzah Shabbos. This oh, Matzah Shabbos. Everybody exchanges. You're one of those people lining up for bagels at 6 o'clock on Saturday night? No, night? jelly donuts. No, <laughs> jelly donuts. <laughs> <laughs> How do they make those jelly donuts that quickly? I need to know. You don't, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the go-to place? I said that when Heshti oh, and Country yeah. show up here, we're going to find out where the $13 donuts are. Where are the $13? $13 donuts this year, $13. which which is there, eight dollars or twelve dollars. For thirteen dollars, there better be more than one donut. I'm telling you, <laughs> but you don't realize that there are places in Brooklyn. I'm being serious. Yeah, there are places you'll see dollars. next week. You'll see at the end of this week. I don't know about thirteen, but seven, eight, nine. We're talking about there, some high quality donuts. There better be a lot of jelly in there. <laughs> they got to explode into your face. <laughs> I can't guarantee that, but I can guarantee you that people will be paying a lot for their Hanukkah parties this year. Well, yeah. yeah. Prices are going through the roof on everything. They certainly are. Anyway, so what happens uh, in the country I see atmosphere? Yeah. Uh, you give a lot of gifts. You give guilt. Uh, do you get a lot of gifts? Well, keep you get to keep, keep in took here in line to get some really something special. Interesting. It's their birthdays also. Hanukkah time? Yeah, they're both 40 years old. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, time works differently in their universe. <laughs> I never thought they aged at all. They didn't. Very slow. Like, like very is this, wait, is the new Kiwi and Tuki going to reflect the fact that they're <laughs> that they're old adults at this point? They look gray, turning gray. Oh, yeah, the yeah. new album cover, they're turning gray, right? Like, around the ear, under the ears. And they're uh, 
getting something very special this year. Yeah. We're sending them back today. <laughs> no, 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 I think that's happened already. Yeah, we that, said that we got them back. Maven, am I right? Oh, yeah, oh that, it did happen, they did come back? Well, you After you sent the boy? You sent the boy, at one point then they came back. To finish it off. <laughs> After five albums, we said, that's it. Goodbye, Kivi and Tuki. We made a whole album. Right. Goodbye, Kivi and Tuki. When it came out, we got bombarded by phone calls from parents that said their kids are crying all night. They're furious. They're furious that it's over. It, you basically killed them off. You, you sent them well, away to a different planet. We didn't kill them. No, but I'm just saying you sent them away forever, basically. We sent them back home. Right. But they came I mean, I killed off enough people in my life. <laughs> and the horse, don't forget. <laughs> and the horse, too. Actually, you're familiar with that 13th <laughs> Avenue story? The horse just basically dropped in after being hit by a garbage truck. And thank God you were there on the spot to take care of me. On the spot. Thank God. Always there. <laughs> that's, when they start, that's when they started Chaveira. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the first member of Chaveira, about 13th Avenue. now you don't want to open his trunk and his gun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was called Chaveira. We changed it a little. You go ahead. I'm sorry. So, uh, <laughs> so they were furious. You brought them back. So and now... We had to make a new album called Welcome, Welcome Back. back. Right. And now in 2023, is there a working title for this album? Is yes, there, there is. It's what is it? It's called the Kavit Shabbos Kaidish. With Kivi and Tuki. Kivi and Tuki and the whole Chevra. Kaylee's going to be there and Moshe Shmiel. And, and are they all on the same page? I know that there. sometimes Tuki, you know, he gets a little bit... Uh... Well, not on the same page, but on the same USB. <laughs> right. <laughs> These days, but, no more pages. But, but if Kivi's encouraging everyone to sing Zmiris on Shabbos, what's uh, Tuki doing? Is he lying on the couch? No, he sings the Zmiris. Oh, he does sing the Zmiris? He sings them a little differently. <laughs> no, Heshi's the voice of Kivi and Tuki on these days. Both? Both. Yeah. I, I'm busy being country Yossi. He had lives a lot of Kiwi and wow. Tuki's remarks. People don't know that. And uh, more fun to do Tuki, right? Than Kiwi. Well, it's it's fun to do both. But Tuki is more my personality. Right. So yes. And he does my Shishmiel and Sholem Bear, and he even does Tim. Ah, he did that whole thing. That was the sound of Timmis's last moments. That was, <laughs> that was his last moments. That was his last ride. <laughs> All right, let's uh, say, okay, so everyone should anticipate that this Kiwi and Tuki project will be out at some point. Very soon. Oh, well, not Hanukkah. No, we just no, missed, we just missed Hanukkah. We're doing, we're, Two shot. We're recording the kids tonight. Actually. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, we're actually doing You're going to have a long day, J.M. and the A.M., and then a recording at night. Yeah. I mean, you guys are not as young as you used to be. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't you, I, don't, I don't know if you can handle his I, schedule. I, I didn't need you to remind us. <laughs> yeah. On my last birthday, I went to blow out the candle, but the heat drove me back. <laughs> You see I, that birthday cake with the president? Yes. Oh, my God. I, I thought he was going to catch on fire. <laughs> At 86 candles. But well, I will tell you that the uh, I'm going to be a little... It's about 7 p.m. tonight. I'm going to turn to uh, my wife, and I'm going to say, Wow, Country and uh, Heshi are now doing this recording, the Kiwi and Tuki thing. They've had a very long day. I have a big concern. I'm hoping that they, you know, they make it through without a problem. You're not as concerned, I see. No, You'll make it through. It's a long it, day. I'm going to take For it senior out. citizens, it's a I'm long day. Taking it up in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I, may take <laughs> it up, I may take it up sooner, I'll be. <laughs> and she will be sleeping on the way home. Exactly. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because I'm driving. So. <laughs> oh, well. So now let's go back for a moment and talk about this entire collection because that's something that is available for Hanukkah 5784. Every one of the country Yossi selections, everything that you've done already with TV and Tuki, even. I don't know all of them, you'll have to tell us. Even the older Archadosh, or just the These I Remember ones? Because on These I Remember, there were yeah, some Archadosh right, questions, yeah, right. right? Not the Archadosh. Uh, but the These I Remember ones. That'll be the coming out next, the Archadosh uh, collection. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah, there's three albums out there. Yeah. Archadosh. Rum, rum, rum. Can never tell if he's serious or not. Yeah, why not? Well, Who has more trouble? You figuring out if he's being serious or you figuring out if he's being serious? We both have trouble. By the way, we're never, <laughs> we're never, <laughs> we're never serious. So it doesn't. Serious. <laughs> Biggest revelation of the day, frankly, for me, after 40 years, 150 jingles between these two gentlemen. That's the big, for me, biggest revelation of the day. Yes. And, of, and, of course, the terrible demise of the country Yossi horse. And, um, and if anybody else wants jingles out yeah, there. Yeah, still, yeah. are you kidding? They're still, uh, yeah. Maven, we need a jingle. Ooh. Remember the old Nahum Single Radio jingle? Yes, Remember that? who that? made that for you? A combination of Schlemmy Dax and Gidon Levine. Really? Yeah, good piece. And as you said, it was like, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny you said it about jingles. Because I always think that, like, writer's block is, is right. you know, like an automatic for everybody. Right. Yes, sir, video made it. How about Dov Shuren? Right, y'all. Oh, sure, he used to be admired. Right, in the jingle world, he used to be admired. Quality, Quality carpet. Quality carpet. Yeah. 
I think it's the only one we could name. <laughs> Is there other others? <laughs> oh yeah, Traveler's Choice. Yeah, yeah, Traveler's Choice. Like, was it a musical for Traveler's Choice? Yeah, Traveler. What was I? I, I would sing it. I just don't remember at this moment. But yeah, there was a, a musical. Piece. How's anyway, you, how's you doing, Dove Sure. How's Dove? I haven't spoken to him since we uh, went off the air. You, you ever connect with him? Dove, for a long time, lived in an apartment building on Rehova Gripas, which was a minute from my brother's apartment. Uh -huh. So there were many times that we ran into each other. But in the last five years or so, like till, since the beginning of COVID, I don't think I've seen him or I've been in touch uh -huh. with him. Also, we would see him in this neighborhood, trivia, we'd see him in this neighborhood because his three aunts lived on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Really? This is Mrs. Berkowitz, Mrs. Uh, Pikus, and Mrs. Uh, uh, oh gosh, give me a second. <laughs> they all they all lived right, and the one I can't think of was across the hall, the hall from me. Uh, but, uh, oh, Mrs. Wick. The three of them were the three sisters, yeah. and they were his three aunts, and he would come and visit in this neighborhood quite mm -hmm. often, yeah. You know, he has one of the most popular songs now that he wrote many, right. many years ago at weddings. Zachary Correct. That's his song. That's his yeah. song. People don't know that. Nobody it's knows song. it's his song. It's mm. his song. Yeah. It's so funny. My granddaughters, you know, one of my granddaughters just recently got married. All right. Tov. Thank you. Where was the wedding? It was in uh, the Woodmere Club. Psh, yeah. Ah, Hesh going for the uh, top echelon country. What do you think of that? I was there. <laughs> oh, you were there at the yeah, wedding? Yeah, well, yeah, a beautiful <laughs> wedding. And we were just celebrating the other nights uh, at Matzah Shabbos. We were listening to a whole bunch of Jewish music and, and the girls wanted to hear Zachary Nino. So I said, oh, I brought up Zachary Nino. I brought up Dove Shur. Yeah. They had never heard uh, it. They didn't even know. Somebody had redone it and now it's a very, very popular song. Yes. How, how did that go? Zachary Nino, Zachary Nino. Na, 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 na. All right. We got to do one of the, what did you say, 60, 70, how many countries? 67 on the... There's 67 country Yassi songs 72, what was it? On oh, country Yassi? Yeah, oh. I, mean, I, I think it was 72. I think, we have a, I think we have 167 songs. That's between everything. Between everything. I, didn't, I don't think I ever broke it down. But it must be around 70, 72 songs, I think. Yeah. Tell me which one we should play. Give me something. Of, from of the, the country Yassi Of the catalog. country. Uh, I said good morning, Claudia Yisrael, right? That, that seems to be a very... Uh, play it. Well, we could play that, but is there one that you think, you know, like... I like the Cholin song. for a favorite song? <laughs> the Cholin song. Cholin By the way... He's getting hungry. <laughs> no, but Cholin is a very... That's a significant country yeah, song. That's, that was a huge song. There are... If, if a guy came down from Mars and someone said, tell me about country us and Heshi Wolfish, they'd probably play that song. Cholin. Yeah. Cholin. Yeah. Yeah. Ch -ch 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 there was another song that I was just thinking of. Which one was it? Big, big, Seven Little Kids. Big, 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 Seven yeah. Little Kids, yeah. Little kids. I just always feel bad for the parents in that band. That's why I, I, I people in June, before the bungalow season, always ask me to play it. And I'm like, do I really have to play it? It's, it's so reminiscent of a bride you don't want to take, you know? <laughs> do we really have to play it? Oh, gosh. Um, but there was another song that I was thinking was, uh, oh yeah, but nobody in, I don't know if anybody in this audience would ever agree with me on this. Do you know what song that you adapted that I think is like the quintessential country yeah, us which one? Yeah. Stiebelhaupt. Oh. It's a, br it's brilliant. I mean, you know it's brilliant. I was just listening to a comment there. I was listening to Stiebelhaupt. You were seriously listening to it? Yeah, yeah, yesterday I was listening to it. I put in the USB. Yeah. I'm listening to all my songs. I haven't heard them really. Some of them in years, yeah, you know, and you don't find your own time. stuff. But yeah, that stuff came song. on, I said, that's, <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I, that's from my bar mitzvah shekel, that's how I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Which came first? Uh, we actually, oh, and you also have one, yeah, I gotta see, I have to be careful now, you have so many songs, I can't confuse them, you also have one called Stiebel People. Oh, that's a great song. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, another that's one. Too. For those of you who never heard it, listen carefully. Listen to how the beat comes in perfectly on this. Listen to this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Within the Stiebel Hub.
And this is way before people were writing songs about doing Daf Yomi and learning every day. Oh, then you did a one Daf a day Yomi song. Daf Yomi is official song of the... Uh... No. no. See how much that? Unofficial. Unofficial <laughs> song of the Yomi. Unofficial, official. official. <laughs> Just learn a one Daf a day song. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I... Me and uh, Ramey Shapiro, I think. Yeah, but it's one of the most famous people. Ramey Shapiro and Country Yossi. The only time you'll hear the two of them in the same sentence. He came over to me and said, Yossi, I got this great idea. We need to uh, get a jingle going for it. <laughs> that was our first jingle. That was. <laughs> you remember these words? Would be able to learn. This came from an LP entitled Still on the Loose. Around what year did that happen, do you know? The reason I'm asking is because... Oh, so it's already in that era when Daf Yomi was getting popular. It was already yeah. in that era where so it, was it wasn't such a foreign concept to people right. that every shul had a Daf Yomi shir, etc., etc. You were always uh, hooked into whatever was popular during that time. That's the way to do it, huh? Just looking at the list here, because remember everybody, the entire catalog is available on USB. By the way, in all seriousness, and you have to understand who you're speaking to here, there's some listeners who will walk into a store and purchase the USB, because there's some neighborhoods who do that, but there are a lot of people who are not used to shopping that way. Is this available online? Can someone just either order the USB or order all the songs oh, you know, to their iTunes or something? Yeah, well, it's available. All the songs are available online, right? Uh -oh. all, all the all the streaming platforms. They've all got it. Twenty four six, uh, Naki Radio. And so you can buy it by album, or you can buy it by yeah, song. You can buy it by song, right. buy it by album. Most of the music is selling it on mostofmusic.com. All right. So this is not just walk in and purchase a USB. This is the catalog yeah, available it's everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Right. You know what an LP is, by the way. I just no. used the word LP. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? You know that they're coming back. No. I, I'm telling you, ain't gonna find a turntable in this studio. <laughs> there, is actually, there is actually a record store in Long Island, uh, in in Lindbrook. Wow! Uh, just records. That's all they sell is vinyl records. Oh, and people are going in there. They're, they're making five bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> when you recorded the original Archadish, or when you were sitting in Sharyashu with your roommates. Yes. You're recording on what? A, a reel to reel machine? Like what are you doing? A little cassette recorder. Oh, you're already recording on cassette? A little cassette recorder, yeah. And they're playing their instruments and... Actually, I mean, uh, Schmelke was playing guitar. He taught me how to play guitar, actually. He made a chord sheet for me. His guitar was always laying around. I remember once he came running in, he was inspired. A song came to him while he was walking home from Yeshiva, and he starts playing. That's his nigga. That was played at every wedding for 30 years. Yeah. It's probably still played. And he had to figure out the chords, you know. Da, 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 it, it's a brilliant song. It's a great song, and it was controversial in its time. What? It was banned from being played in Cam Morris. He used to play music in Cam Morris over the loudspeaker. That song was banned by the Rosh Hashim at the time. He to said, what? This is an Afrikanish name. What did they play? Over no, you know, Give no, me an example. Well, so they they David, ah. But not Schmelke's Nina. That song, but they play other, uh, right. you know, they play the Eilat Barechem, they would play, and Bilvavi. So Eilat Barechem was all right, but Schmelke's Nina wasn't. Yeah, that was too, I could spend an hour on that, but let's not waste our time. <laughs> <laughs> but Bilvavi was the major classic from that album, our first Dark Hunter show. All right, let's check the app, right? We didn't do this last time you were here. No. That was 13 years ago, according to Video Maven. Mm. We didn't check the app last time you were here. You know why? We didn't check the app last time you were here? Because there were no apps. <laughs> well, last time you were here. The only app was the Achto uh, appetizers. That was it. What was the best appetizer at Achto? Any idea? Uh, <laughs> there must have been a stuffed cabbage. Come on, country. There must have been a stuffed yeah, cabbage. Yeah, a stuffed cabbage. And I like what? the potato soup. Whatever it was. Oh, was there a potato soup? <laughs> Whatever it was, Achto was the best. <laughs> sure. Country takes me there. And I was a young kid. We had just met, like, you know, within a year or two before that. Mm. He takes me there. This explains a lot. And, he, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, order whatever you want. I said, order whatever I want. You know, like, don't worry. Just order whatever you want. I, I don't know. I think I got, like, a rib steak or something. Like, I, I, took, I took full advantage <laughs> of his <laughs> kindness. In a dairy restaurant. He ordered a rib steak. And, and it seemed, and it seemed, it was, it was not a meat restaurant. <laughs> it was dairy. Yeah. Achto was the dairy? The lunch in that. No. So where'd you take me? It wasn't Achto. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't Nasharia. Was there a Flesha restaurant on the 13th Avenue? The China Glot was there. Yeah, I don't China think it was. Glot. It wasn't there yet. China Did you have a jingle for them? 
Yeah. You did? Yeah. For China Glock? I don't remember how it goes. Huh? No, now you're going back way. But there really time. was a jingle? I don't, I don't remember if we did China Glock. Wow. Yeah. No. I'm not sure. We did, so many stores up in the, we did so many stores up and down 13th Avenue. Though. Awesome. Had, had the Nasharia one go? Grab your kids and run to Nasharia. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. But that was the that was the hook. Grab your kids and run to Nasheri. Remember that? Who did Hot Ola? That was Martin. No, it wasn't me. That was that was Martin Davidson, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Peel and more potato for the community. Yeah. And which was the one that Nutta had a voiceover on? Was that Nasheri? I think Nutta had yeah, a voiceover yeah, on Nasheri. Yeah, he made another one with uh, Nutta with. Uh, which one was that? I think Randy D must have sang on. Or Shia Mello would sang on it. And Nutta on Yeah. Man, we lost a lot of friends over the years. Yeah, yeah, we sure have. Gosh. All right, let's not focus on that. Yes, let's not. Country Yessi is still, according to listener Jeff, according to listener Jeff, Country Yessi is still selling cassette tapes on his website. True or false? <laughs> That's true. It is true? But it, it's not true, really, because... Because <laughs> really, if someone would order it. We don't it. accept orders anymore on the website. <laughs> it just happens to be up there. <laughs> oh, well. We haven't updated it. Maybe give me back my credit card, David. I was, I was ready to order it. Now, on the, on the other hand, if you do want a cassette, I do have some left. <laughs> Shockingly you enough. You know, the technology changes so, so fast. fast. We have cartridges in the basement. We have cassettes. We have CDs. You, didn't, you never made an 8-track, no, did you? Never you made never made an 8-track. Even our had no 8-track? I think we have an 8-track. Did 8-track? Our Fudders may have had an 8-track. I have 8-tracks. Wow. Of our Fudders? Not of no, country? No, of country? country? No, we don't have country. No? It's our Chodesh? Wow. Must be our Chodesh. We never oh, made it. Right? The first album was simply Country S and the Stiebelhoppers. That's how it was known? That was the title? It was called Wanted. Oh, right. It had the Wanted thing across there, right? It, it was a progression. It went Wanted, right. strike, again, strike Again, Still right. on the Loose, right. Captured, right. Break Out, right. Riot Again. Right. That's when Country thought he was actually wanted by people. He was wanted. <laughs> it was Wanted, $10,000 reward. But now because of inflation, I think we're offering $100,000. <laughs> They know where to find you this morning, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Happy Zadie, oh, did I just lose it? Oh, there we go. Happy Zadie says, I can still remember Heshi playing his guitar in the bungalow colony on Sunday afternoon. That's how you wild away the hours? Well, you, you sat on the stoop, uh, whitt whittling away and playing guitar, Heshi, is that how it went? <laughs> I used to have uh, good concerts at uh, shop this night. Any, any opportunity. Or was that Julene's you told Julene, yeah, Green Tree Edwards, yeah. What city was that in? Rundale. Wow. Still there. Seriously? Yeah. Same buildings? Same homes? Same place. Because in those days it was probably known as more upscale than it is today. Yeah. Huh? It's a bungalow yeah. colony. Regular bungalow colony. Regular bungalow colony. There 40 years. Oh, you're still there? Well, I'm, I, actually I stopped going there about a year or two ago. But yeah, we went there for 40 years. Wow. That's why people thought you were named Country Yossi. After the country. Oh, sure. Well, we have the radio. We had the radio show right. for uh, 30, a million years. 30 years, so uh, that was part of the. Country uh, in the country. Right. Country in the country. Why'd they throw you off? What'd you say on the air? I got the can. I couldn't pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> it was going so well, they said skedaddle. <laughs> Move on, baby. Uh, listener Zena says My kids grew up with country us in music. You're the best. Wow. Schwiger says. Schwiger. Boker Tovna, what a fabulous walk down memory lane. Thank you for brightening up this dreary New York morning with this dynamic duo. Wow, they think you're dynamic. <laughs> look it up when you leave here. <laughs> dynamic, D-Y-M, look it up, country. J.A. Mora says, mm. loving country Yussie. Thanks for bringing them on. I didn't have Jewish music in my house growing up, but I absorbed their songs at my friends' houses. Great energy, thanks so much. Ooh, very nice, thank, thank you. Thank you. Who these listeners? The truth is that it's almost surprising to us how many times people come up to us and say, we grew up with your music, and thank you, and now we're giving to the next generation, and it's true. I mean, I, I remember when we did the Hass concert oh, uh, a few, few years ago, I remember that. and I was, I was literally astonished after the concert, we're, we're, you know, everybody's milling around afterwards, we're leaving, and how many, of course there were people who were our age who came up and thanked us for the nostalgia and all that. But they were young kids, and we weren't playing country Yossi stuff then. We were doing our Chodesh stuff, and they came up and said, this music is so fantastic, you guys were the best in that. This is a hunger for music that was written in those years, because those songs were really, really special, true, Yiddish, Jewish songs. No question about it. 
It's, uh, I, well, we talked about this once before. I, I think it's coming back a little bit. I think the melodies are starting to become more... Heartsick? Heartsick, yes. Less, less... Uh... Malcolm, how do you feel about ever-evolving Jewish music? No so, comment, country! <laughs> <laughs> you asked the question. Right? <laughs> no, no, I don't know what to say, but people answer that all the time. I never, I never have a good answer for it, frankly. <laughs> Uh, to each his own, as they say. A, a big libertarian, that Malcolm Siegel. But as long guys, as I have one to play on the end. <laughs> exactly. But you guys, this is how legendary you are. I'm, I'm backstage. The last major performance you did, I assume, was the one with uh, Makar, right? right? Yeah, the whole, whole thing. thing. God bless you, Mel Lewis. Yes. He insisted you guys be there, right? Mm -hmm. And we remember him fondly. So I'm backstage after the show. And there's somebody there in the audience who never misses an opportunity. God bless him. And I love my relationship with him to schmooze with me and to meet up after the show. He was very excited, wanted to discuss the show with me. It had just ended, etc., etc. And he says to me, I would love to continue speaking to you, but country else is here. I must go meet him. I don't know if you remember. He took a picture of you, the whole thing. So, you know, I've reached a certain level of fame, but I still have not penetrated that country Ussie Heshi wallfish bar that's impossible to surpass. You can still aspire. <laughs> I've tried my heart. <laughs> Every time I get older, though, you guys become more legendary, so it's impossible. What can I tell you? Yeah. See if there's anything else. Oh, one of our listeners is begging us to play Oh My Yerushalayim, mm -hmm. and we said that that's, a, that's an appropriate song. We used to end the radio show. Yeah, that. we always end the show. We were right. on the air for 40 years, you know. 40. I just celebrated my 40th anniversary. Wow. Yeah, you started that before us. September 83. Wow. Uh, listener Judy Landy says, that was many years ago, Kosher Plaza. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah, somebody remembers. Uh, anybody else here? Um, <laughs> the person, <laughs> the person. I don't know if had she heard it because you were in the car. But this was country's opening to his article this week in the Jewish News, and the person who, who no, the other, the other side. Oh. There you go. And the person who uh, oh. who alerted me to it, you know, who contacted me after yeah. shops is very glad that I referenced it. Hey, country, what can I tell you? If you keep writing about me, I'm going to bring it up on the air. What can I tell you? <laughs> Simple as that. So there you have it, folks. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's no better Hanukkah gift, according to the two gentlemen in front of me. There is no better Hanukkah gift than the 10-gallon hat being worn by Country Yussi. But if you're not into headgear the way Country is, there's another uh, great Hanukkah gift. And that is the entire Country Yussi collection on uh, USB, as they call it. Or as Heshi said, you could go to any of these streaming services and buy the entire catalog song by song. And Kiwi and Tuki as well. Album by album. This Kiwi and Tuki mystery of when it's coming out. I mean, mm, you one. said yeah. not Hanukkah. I said Tu B'Shvat. You guys were deadpan. You would, not, you would not agree with me that that's a legitimate deadline. Now I'll say Purim. Will it be out by Purim? I don't know. It depends on the recording schedule for tonight. Whether Heshi and Yossi get this done right away or not. I, give them a, I, I said they never have writer's block. Now they'll be waiting for months trying to think of a song. You know, I gave a whole eye to her this morning. I don't know. And it's a late pace off. You know, it's end of April. So when, what, what are we telling the people? When will the new Kiwi and Tuki be released for the general public? Soon. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater in <laughs> We will not get anything more definitive than that. Anyway, there you have it. We, we, we can't really wrap up this conversation with anything other than, oh my, Yerushalayim, you have no choice. Uh, when was the last time you were in Yerushalayim country? Uh, must have been about five years ago with the bar mitzvah of my grandson. Do you have, you have grandchildren in Israel? Or you went with them to Israel? Yeah, we went to Israel for the bar mitzvah. You made the bar mitzvah in Israel. Uh, we have family in Israel. Right. You were there recently, no? Is there twice, heading back on the 20th of December? People, mm. people, honestly, in this audience, there's nothing better than bridging the gap between Israel and here. Yeah. People love to have some type of connection, and most people can't go, so I'm glad I'm able to go. That's fantastic. <laughs> Listener Ruvain says, um, oh, by the way, if you want me to deliver some country SC cassettes to the Israeli soldiers, I'll do it. You know, if you think that that'll be a, mor a morale booster. Uh, Heshi's giving the indication that it might not be the best morale booster. <laughs> I heard in the Merkava tanks to have a CD uh, place. Do they? CDs while you literally can. All right. <laughs> they should never know when he's I know. Out. That's the problem. I brought this out before, and, I was, and I was poo-pooed. Well, I know. I've, I've seen videos of the tanks with music playing. So Yeah, that's yeah. true. Certainly outside the tanks, they play music. 
When you were there, you, you, went to the, uh, you went to Gaza? You went to I did not go to Gaza, Sidero, did not go south. Down, no, you know? did not go south. I didn't think that was my role. Uh -huh. After the whole world had reported on what it looked like, I didn't think that that was my role there. I thought my role was more of chesed and inspiration yes. and reporting with something. stories that people normally would not hear in the general media. I, I thought long and hard about that. I think it was the right decision. Yes. And um, we get back there on the 20th of December. You know what we're doing, by the way? Um, I don't know what your homes look like. I don't know if you uh, live with people who do or don't enjoy clutter. I live with someone. <laughs> I live with someone, Stacy Siegel, who, God bless her, cannot tolerate clutter. Yes. Cannot. I mean, if a room is not empty, there's something wrong, right? What has she done nonetheless? And I give her all the credit in the world. I know how this must be driving her crazy. We started a Coats for Kids campaign. Our mayor, Bracha, in Israel told us that all these kids in the south who are now in Yerushalayim do not own winter coats. And it's freezing at times in Yerushalayim. So can we bring new it? So we put a thing on Amazon. People are donating. And every day at our door, <laughs> like 10 Amazon packages oh, wow. of coats that we're going to be schlepping to Israel on the 20th of December. And, and it is beautiful. And I give her all the credit because she's anti-clutter. And you can't imagine what those rooms look like right now. Wow. <laughs> so there so you are schlepping all that with you? you Taking doing? it all with us. Wow. Uh, anybody out there who wants the link, nachamanachamsegal.com, I'll send it to you. You can order uh, coats and we'll take them with us. Anyway, listener Rubain says, I am so, and he has 15 O's, 15 O's and so. Mm. I am so loving this interview. It is so great. Uh, we bought Sarah Khanna, I'm assuming their daughter, Kiwi and Tuki, and she loves it. Mm. How do you like that? Fantastic. Even kids today being raised on Kiwi and Tuki, hoping, hoping. And they end up more like Kiwi than Tuki. <laughs> Hoping. Tuki uh, is Tuki is good. Tuki's How many generations? Guy, right? Is Tuki alright? Heshi's, Heshi's defending Tuki. <laughs> Heshi's defending. I knew there was a problem here. Heshi's defending Tuki. He's the guy who doesn't always uh, do things on the uh, gets on the right. beaten Tuki path. Tuki gets it right when it has to be right. In the end, huh? I have to say something before. Oh, ah, but go ahead. Video Maven needs to say something. Yes, Maven. Day. Why don't you just grab that microphone? Yeah. Where'd you have? I that live mic? every day with the Yates Hara song. Yates Hara, yeah. go away. You know. Yeah. What my Yates Hara song? No, that's an album. One second. That was the original one. Yeah. Is that our Chodesh? Is that our Chodesh or not? Yes, that's our Chodesh. Don't go to me. It's so comfortable here in bed. My eights are horses. It's hot and humid. Unbelievable. We have tripped over all these incredible classics yeah. this morning. We need another session. What are you doing tomorrow? You're talking about eights are horror. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're talking about, you're talking about? Yeah. Is that a country it's song? A yeah, it's it's not it. Oh, it's, it's keeping it for a month here, I've been saying we have to play Omer Yerushalayim, but I just don't want to end the interview. Oh. <laughs> you guys are here, and this is a dream come true for Nahum Siegel. People ask, Nahum, after 40 years in broadcasting, what would be the dream come true for you? Hmm. And you know me, I'm a man of simple means. <laughs> Heshian country, that's it. Doesn't get much respect and, that. Not, <laughs> and, of course, I need an Achtov uh, Fleischach restaurant. <laughs> those, are, those are the two things <laughs> two I need. Names. I need Achtov Fleischach and I need country and Heshi to be here in studio. Simple as that. I gotta tell you, to open a uh, Fleischach restaurant. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you remember who that was? You remember sure. the one? What does he do now? Yeti and Yeti, they're retired. Did they go after everybody Ach I know was retired? After <laughs> Ach except me. <laughs> after Achtov closed, did they do more food or that was no, it? No, that's it. That was it. Wow. Can't top the best. Not Sharia, did they do more food or no, also out? Also out of business for a long time. No, but they do but no more food after that. No more restaurants. Not that I know of. Maybe he does right. uh, you know wholesale. What's later. your favorite restaurant now, by the way? Right now I have a few different restaurants that we go to, but I don't want to pick out any one in particular. You wouldn't say then you wouldn't say ones. five? You wouldn't give us five names? I can't give you five names. I mean there's a lot of great ones in Brooklyn. Everybody yeah, you're dying to take Nahum Siegel out to lunch. Oh, then, right? yeah, you're yeah. dying to take me out to lunch. For an invitation. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a hypothetical. Hypothetical. You're dying to take me out to lunch. Where would we end up? We would likely end up where? Uh, in my, in my kitchen, uh, is a great Did cook. I serve good stuff in your kitchen? My wife's a great cook. She's a very religious cook, my wife. Why is that? Very religious. Yeah. Every meal is either a sacrifice or a burnt coffee. <laughs> And she, and she has to sit through this every day. <laughs> she, she dresses to kill, but she, unfortunately, she cooks the same way. <laughs> Honey, I hope you're not listening. You know you're in trouble when they use the smoke alarm as an oven timer. He knows my wife. You know what they say? Comedians always use a, a wife line. Right. Are all your kids 
local? Is everybody in your family local? In the, local in, local in the New York area, or you have some out of town? Yeah, no, mine are all local. Berkshire. Yours are all around, and yours too. I have a daughter in Israel. Israel, wow. Yeah. What city? In uh, Zichron Yaakov. Wow. He's a daughter in Zichron. Yeah, she just came in for the wedding. That's yeah, pretty she, cool. She just went home yesterday. I, wow. I had. They were all four kids. It was a. Do you get there at all with any regularity or not? Not as often as I'd like. Um, I imagine we're so. going in Mirza Shem. We're going in in March for my grandson's bar mitzvah. Right around Purim time. Yeah. Wow. Well, we were in Israel. I told you for that bar mitzvah. Yeah. We went into Meishoru. As soon as we walk in, there's a building with a window on top. There are like four or five young boys looking out the window. One looks out at me. That's Kuchiyosi. Serious. In, in a three seconds, six kids come running out. <gasps> down. They come running up to me, taking pictures with their camera, their cell phones. After about two minutes, you see the Rebbe in the window. Uh oh. Get back up there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh well, that plan didn't go well. <laughs> Could you imagine I walk into May Sharm and I'm get like, recognized, like I said, you know. You never know. I got the face for radio, but. Were you wearing that type of hat or not? No. What do you wear in May of Sharm? Strimal. You wear a Strimal? <laughs> <laughs> strimal. Really? I don't want to be recognized. <laughs> it's a Strimal with the country as a logo and the, the woven into the. By the way. What? I mean, as you guys know, this is a new studio. Yeah. The fire and all that. Beautiful studio. Thank you. What about this studio was inspired by you? Ooh. Oh, it should be so obvious. It should be so, yeah. What? what did you guys have on 13th Avenue? Yeah, look look in that direction. Oh, he's got it oh, in the window. I'll go on the window. On the, on the shade. Like when that. I walked into yeah, your cool. office, which was, I don't know, 35 years ago, <laughs> I, just saw the logo. I said to myself, one day I have to have a Venetian <laughs> blind. Because yours were blinds, right? right? That, yes. that made the country see yes. logo. Yes. I must have a Venetian blind with my logo on it. Look what we oh, have. And by the way, with this lighting, when I leave the lights on at night, yeah. I mean, it that's lights like the up the whole street. neighborhood, yeah. baby. That's great. So that was inspired by country oh, and Hessian. Next time you're driving by with your family, say, guys, look up there. Next time we were in China. That, that, that was inspired by us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, it's obvious. I don't want to end this conversation. It's obvious. It's but you know what they say. As country us, you would say. What? All good things. No, as country us, you would say. We're being grabbed by the clock. We're being stopped by the, clock. By the, clock. Stopped by the, by the clock. clock. What are your better lines, young man? <laughs> What are your better lines? I like I like Jackie Mason's line. What All good say? things must come to an end. <laughs> Since this is such a good thing, we'll stick around and see if it gets better. <laughs> ah, what can I tell you? That's the story. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, country Ussy, Heshi Wolfish, let's hope and pray that it doesn't take another 13 years to get them back in studio here at JM in the Air. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, I'm wishing you a gesund, hatzlocha, Amen. And the continued great work in Eretz Yisrael and here and Thank raising you. the spirits of everybody that listens to you over all these years. Thank you. I remember I met uh, Mr. Rubashkin oh, yeah. at an event. I come over to him, I introduced myself. He said, Hi, I'm Country Yossi. I shook his hand. He looks at me and says, You helped lighten my load. Amos! Yeah, I said, Wow, why do that? So I think. That's a life's work well done. My bracha to you is you should continue to lighten and call your swells load as we go through very rough seas. Amen, Amen to Amen. that. Beautiful. Amen to that, boy, oh boy. More app comments because I can't end this interview. I'm trying. I can't. <laughs> Even with your brachas, I can't do it. Great Leib Dick interview. <laughs> I can't stand clutter either. Shout out to <laughs> Stacy Siegel. When I drive... I always listen to Kiwi and Tuki tapes. It's very educational for my kids. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my kids listen to it on the way to school. They, put, they plug in the USB, and every day they just listen to all the songs. A lot of people stop us and tell us that. Oh, boy. They're listening less and less than an Alpha Musical Network. Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they go late to these shoes. Do me a favor. Load up the Alpha Musical Network stream with country Yossi songs immediately. <laughs> i got to keep those listeners. Wait, do you have a deadline? Can I just say something? Yeah. Over the years, I did over 30 Jewish music DVDs. Right. You can get it at mostly music, but... Uh, Maven, Video Maven says he's done over 30 uh, DVDs over the years in the world of Jewish music. And some of them are country us DVDs. Yes. Mm. How do you like that? Including, and they're available at mostly music, you yes, say? Including stuff like The Circus with Madison Square Garden. There you go. You've seen all he's got them all. Chaim Snow has just called in. Has oh, just... Has just uh, he's in Israel, you know. Yeah, sure. 
I was shooting a video to Bar Mitzvah a few weeks ago, and the father of the Bar Mitzvah quoted Kivi and Tuki and Country Yesi like they were a bunum in the Gemara. <laughs> okay, now we know you've gotten a little, this has gone all too far. Now you're being quoted as if you're Gedalim. Now it's gone all too far, Country. Some Rebbe called me and said, uh, he asked the question, uh, uh -oh. who said, Emma Ma'at Ma'ase Harbe? And one could raise his hand and says, Country Yesi. Oh my gosh. Emma <laughs> Ria. My kids, my kids, by the way, uh, maintain that we should take that song, put other words to it. They said it's a fantastic chasna song. Seriously? Yeah, it's a great song. It's a great song. Emor Ma'at Ba'asei Harbe. Of course, Tuki changes it a little bit, but that's why we need That's that the point. general problem with Tuki that we've been discussing, but nobody wants to acknowledge that this morning here at JMD. What can I tell you? No, one true story. I was driving home from Staten Island. We did the show, radio show from Staten Island one night, Saturday night. I came home. WNYM. Yeah, remember that? Smyrna, Staten Island. Smyrna Avenue. I see, uh, come to Verrazano Bridge, there's a man walking around without a jacket. Winter night. On the bridge. Like a, like a rabbi. So I stopped to call him. Picked him up. I said, what happened? He said, his car broke down. Uh, he needs a ride home to uh, Flatbush. I said, hop in, you know. He hops in a car. So happy that I picked him up. We started talking. He says, where are you coming from so late at night? I said, I can do a radio show instead of radio show. What's your name? I said, Yassi He says, country Yassi? Oh, my yeah. gosh. He's sitting there thinking after a few minutes. He says, you know, I'm the principal of uh, Sparta Shri Yeshiva. Smarty Yeshiva and Blackbush. And just recently I was going to put out a letter advising the parents not to buy Kiwi and Tuki tapes because Tuki is a little bit too uh, outspoken for my taste and I felt it, was, it wasn't good for the kids to listen to. But now that I met you, I'm not going to send out the letter. Now that I met you, I think I have a different, that have story, a different attitude. That story has about 10 different themes that we could discuss at like, yeah. wow, wow. Pretty cool. Imagine. I love stories like that. Country, God bless you. Thank you. Keep it going. You too. I'm looking forward to the new Kiwi and Tuki. Okay. I'll keep the controversial stuff away from my granddaughters. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know that Kiwi, we don't want him infiltrating oh, yeah, our children's yeah. minds, do we? <laughs> That's right. Big thank you to Heshi Wolfish. Big thank you to Country Ussie. Thank you to Video Maven. The 347. 242. 242. 0088. 0088, or just contact me, Nachum at NachumSiegel.com. We'll wrap up the only way we know how with our thoughts on Yerushalayim with Country Yossi and the Stiebel Hoppers at JM in the AM.